Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the world of fake from China to USA. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will explore the complexity of international logistics. Ever wonder how the world of fake from China to USA operates? Welcome to Sino Shipping, where we will So let's dive on to the first big questions. What determines the cause of fake? It is not as straightforward as you might think. The price involves a blend of various environments, from the type of transport to the time of year. For instance, did you know that the ocean fake can vary by as much as fifty percent depending on the season, or the air fake rate may spike up to a hundred percent during the peak season. Like the holiday seasons or the major global event, what exactly are these factors that are affecting the cost? There are four of them. I will explain you in these sections. So let's break it down. The mode of transport, air freight is typical five to six times more expensive than ocean freight. For example, shipping a standard forty foot container from Shanghai to Los Angeles in the U.S. West Coast may cost you around one one thousand five hundred by ocean. But also at the same time, if you ship it by air freight, can escalate to eight thousand or more if you choose the air freight. So the second is the size of the weight and for your shipment, the cost of shipping five hundred kilo package by air freight may be approximately US three dollars per kilo, totally in one thousand five hundred. In contrast, ocean freight for the same weight could be around fifty cent US per kilo. Among them, only 250. So the third is about the fuel price. Fluctuating oil price direct impact to the fuel cost. A 10% raise in oil price can lead to one to two percent increase in ocean fuel rates. For air freight, the impact is even more significant, with oil accounting for about 30% of the total cost. The last one is timing. During the peak season, like the Chinese New Year or Christmas, the freight costs can be raised a lot. Ocean freight rate may be increased by two, twenty, and thirty percent, and the air freight rate can double due to the high demand or and limited availability. Understanding these factors can help you plan your shipment more effectively and avoiding unexpected costs. Keep in your mind that while lower costs. Are always desirable, reliable, and speed are also crucial factors to consider when you choosing your shipping mode. When it comes to shipping from China to the USA, understanding the transit time is very important for you guys. For sea freight, the journey can take around thirty to forty days. This transit time can fluctuate based on specific sea route taken. For example. Shipping from Shanghai to the U.S. West Coast, like Los Angeles, may take you approximately 14 to 18 days. But to the U.S. West East Coast, for example, New York, it close to 30 to 40 days due to longer distance. On the other hand, air freight typically takes around three to five days. However, this can be different based on specific origin and destination airport. For instance. Cargo flight from Beijing to Los Angeles may take approximately 12 to 15 hours, but additional time can be also for custom clearance and ground transportation can also extend the total transit time. In logistic planning is very important. For sea freight, it's recommend to add a buffer of about five to ten days to your schedule to account for your variable like. Port congestion, which can cause significant delays, in the recent data shows the major U.S. port can experience a congestion delays up to seven days during the peak seasons. Air freight, while generally faster, isn't immune to delays. Weather or air traffic issues can add an extra days or up to two to your schedule during peak season, like Christmas, Chinese New Years. Air freight can face additional delay due to high cargo volume and limited flight availabilities. 
It is smart to plan you these contingencies to ensure your shipment arrive on time. Crossing international border isn't just about moving your shipments. It's also about navigating the complex world of tax and custom duties. Did you know that the harmonized tariff schedule, also named as HS code, determines the duties rates of your import goods into US? It's a crucial aspect that can significant impact to your overall cost. For US importers like you guys, understanding and calculating this fee is very important. The duty rates can range from free to over 20% depends on your product type. Plus, there is a merchandise process fee. Typically, it's around 0.34% approximately of your shipment's value. It's not just about shipping costs. These additional fees can be added up, so make sure you budget for them in your overall cost analysis. Every international shipment requires a stack of paperwork. Getting it right is very crucial. First of all, you will need a bill of lading for sea freight and an airway bill for air shipments. These documents act as a contract between you and your carriers and are the proof of your shipment. But don't forget, we have commercial invoice. It details the transactions between the buyers and the seller. And it's very important for custom clearance as well. And there's more, of course, packing list, certificate of origin, and in some cases, specific license and permit depending on your goods. One slip of documentation can lead to delay or even fines. Ensure accuracy in every details. Double check the product description and the Hamad system code. As we mentioned before, is an HS code. Misclassification of the goods can lead to incorrect duty charges, or sometimes even worse, is custom hold up. So always stay updated with the latest regulations. They can be changed for sometimes. So it's your responsibility to be compliant with these regulations. The decision between the air and the sea freight is more than just speed versus cost. Sea freight offers high volume at lower costs, ideally for healthy and bulky items, but it is slower and not suitable for perishable or urgent goods. Air freight, while more expensive, but is faster and more reliable for time-sensitive shipments. It is also better for valuable items and is offer higher security. Aligning your transport more with your business needs, budget and values is a strategic decision that can impact your bottom line and most importantly, your brand reputation. When shipping from China to the USA, the choice of the seaports and airport is west. Major Chinese ports like Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Ningbo are bursting hub for sea freight. They connect to the key US ports such as Los Angeles, Long Beach in the west coast, and then in the east coast, New York. In the realm of air freight, airports like Beijing, capital, Shanghai, Pudong, and Guangzhou, Baiyuan, linked to the international airports in US, including LAX, JFK, and somewhere else in Chicago. Selecting the right route isn't just about picking up the nearest port or airport. Consider factors like transit time, cost, frequent of your shipments, and even nature of your goods. Electronics product may be better off frying for quicker delivery and less handling, while bulky goods like machinery could benefit from the cost effectiveness of sea freight. Also, think about the final destination of your goods in the USA. Choosing a seaport or airport closer to this point can save time and inland transportation costs. How to check your shipment in real time? Gone are the days of sending off your shipments and hoping for the best. In today's digital world, real-time tracking is a game changer. Most freight forwarders and carriers offer online tracking systems. 
This system allows you to see exactly where your shipment is at in any given moment, whether it is on a high seas or cruising in 30,000 feet. Leveraging GPS technology, RFID tags, and advanced software, these checking tools offer a level of transparent and control that was unheard a decade ago. Some systems even provide estimate arrival times and alert you in any delays or issues. For businesses, this means better planning and communication with customers. For individuals, it's a peace of mind knowing where about your wearable goods, where is a dedicated apps, a website, or even SMS updates. Staying informed about your shipment has never been easier. In the world of fake transport, risks come with the territory. Understanding and managing these risks is the key to a successful shipment. The risks range from damage or loose goods to delay and fluctuating shipping cost. To manage this through planning and a good understanding of the shipping process are essential. This includes choosing a rapid carrier, understanding the bags packing practice for your goods, and being aware of potential for delay due to several factors such as weather, political unrest, and logistic issues at the seaport or airport. Securing your shipment is crucial. This is where the insurance come into play. Insurance provides a safety net against potential losses or damages during transit. Different types of insurance policy are available covering different aspects of shipping process. For example, all risks policy offer comprehensive coverage against a wide range of incidents, while named police policy covers special list risks. It's important to understand the terms and conditions of your insurance policy to ensure adaptable coverage for your goods. Navigating the mess of restrictions on certain products are crucial for smooth custom clearance. Different countries have different regulations, of course, regarding what can or what cannot be shipped. For instance, items like Dangerous materials, perishable, and certain electronics may have strict regulation or even bans in some countries. It is essential to do the research and understand this restriction before planning your shipment to avoid any legal complication or delay. Compliance with international regulations is not just a legal necessity. It's also crucial to, for maintaining your business reputation. This involves adhering to export and import law, custom regulation, and international trade agreements. Non-compliance can lead to heavy fight, legal issue, and of course, to damage to your business credibilities. Keeping up to date with ever-changing international trade laws and seeking advice from logistic expert or legal advisor is a proactive approach to insurance compliance. Understanding the custom clearing process in the USA is crucial for a smooth import journey. When your shipment arrives, it must be declared to custom through specific documentation, which include number one, the bill of lading commercial invoice and the packing list. Custom official will then access your shipments, determining if it meets the import regulation and if any duties and taxes are due. It's the detailed process where accuracy in your paperwork is important. Error or missing information can lead to delay or additional charges. To ensure a smooth custom current process, be proactive. First, familiarizing, familiarize yourself with specific requirements for your type of goods. Second, ensure all your documents are complete, accurate, and submit on time. 
work closely with your fake forwarders as they can offer invaluable guidance and hand, handle much of the leg works and consider using a custom broker, the expert in navigating the complexity of custom regulation and can be a great access in clearing your goods quickly and efficiently. So there you have it, an inside guide to shipping from China to USA. Remember, successful shipping isn't just about choosing the right fake option. It's about understanding the entire process from documentation and risk management to custom clearance and complies with the regulation. Stay informed, plan ahead, and don't underestimate the importance of choosing an experienced fake forwarders. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave the comment below with your thoughts and questions. Your feedback really helps us to create content that tailored to your needs. Stay tuned for more insight from Sino Shipping, where we make international shipping easier and more understandable. Thanks for watching and never forget to follow Sino Shipping. We are your shipping pro.